Flint! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Forest is on fire in a huge fire! Flame fire! Hey together, Earn the Black Dragon's back and I hope you all enjoyed the first episode last time and I welcome all of you back to Mother 3. So we officially now start with everything. So we're playing as Flint today, it seems like. So let's go around a fireplace and firewood. Let's let's take some time, everything's on fire. Fireplace and firewood. Let's see what else there is. No problem here. You're looking pretty handsome, but it's this is no no time for that. Ah, it's always time to look handsome. No problem here. No problem here. My bed can I go to sleep. You can't take a nap on this bed. Take a quick rest? No, that would be bad. A machine for spinning wool. Okay. I think I'm good. And now we can dash. You gotta do something quick! Flint! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest is on fire! Jeez! Who would lock the door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Yeah. The doorknob! Why do you have, have to come off at a time like this? Ah! Doorknob! I'm, I mean, Flint! This is no time to be dozing off! There's a huge fan sunset forest! Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please come, Flint! Please! We're on it. Thomas joined your party. I'll fall behind you. What? What? What's so wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. Whatever you say, buddy, whatever you say. He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Here it is. Flint got a stick. Hey, hey, Flint! That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding on to it will—it'll make it as useful as a car as a caramel, caramel. However you want to pronounce caramel. If you want to say caramel, that's okay. If you want to say caramel, that's also okay. Let's equip a stick. Good? Are we okay with that? You can pronounce it whatever you want. There's no right or wrong way because there's different pronunciations depending on the place you live in. So, what do we move on? Hey there, Frogger! Hop! Save your game! Yes, let's save the game while we're at it. Let's save it as... Da -da 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 -da, Flint! Okay, please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will do so. Let's dash! Actually, do I wanna dash? Sometimes I feel like if you dash and run too much, you will miss a lot of things in the world. But I don't think there's much to go by now. Ah! Flint! The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke! Good, I already heard something about the forest, forest fire. That was some strange music choice then. If the forest catches on fire, Gus and Lucas and Hinawa will be stuck out there. Don't worry. The, 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 the sunshine forest? It's on forest! No, wait. The sunshine forest is on tire! Still wrong. And also read that wrong, which made it probably even more funny. Now isn't the time for that. You say that. No problem here. I guess I can't go in anywhere, because... Now is not the time for that. But let's go around and try to talk to everyone. Ah, Flint! The the sunshine forest is on fire? Oh, oh, oh. Should I maybe give you a hand too? Chill, come with me, Jackie. Ah, wait. Um, I actually pretty. I'm actually pretty busy, you know. N no, I mean, um, <coughs> you know how it is. Sorry. I leave everything today to you today, Flint. Thanks for your help. Well, let's dash around. I love the foot animation of the fireman. They're saying the sunshine forest is on fire. 
If that's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village too. Mr. Flint, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's just the kind of person he is. Hey, leave Thomas alone. Thomas! What are you... You're running around acting like a siren for. Honestly now. You'd better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Okay. Also, I'm sorry for the voice I decided to give this woman. But sometimes, just voices start happening. And that's, that's what you're stuck with them. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. If you need something from the map loving and map owning Mapson, it must be a map. Yes? Please feel free to take one with you. Got the Tasm. Tasm the map! You're worried about lighters. Shack deep inside the Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked the area on the map for you. Your map has been marked. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, whoops. Silly me. Forget to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to. How do I put this? Fill your right index finger with a wish or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess do something R buttonish. Like that? Huh? It works! All you need to do is press the R button. Ish. Okay. Flint! Took you long enough. Go check out the fire, quickly, chop chop! If the fire spreads here, to Tessimali village, my honor, my estate, and I will go up in smoke! Literally! So go north! North, I say! North, as in north, south, east, west! Why do I force my... me to... Why do you force me to explain such simple things to you? I, I didn't do anything, I just stood there and listened to you ramble on, buddy. <coughs> Just hearing there was a <coughs> fire has <coughs> coughing uncontrollably. I'm ultra sensitive to things, you know. By the way, if you'd pretend to run instead of walk, I recommend trying to dash ability. <coughs> Heck. Okay. I mean, I always love dashing around if. Save the game yet again. Because why not? I always prefer to dash around because that way. Please be careful out there, give my regards to the next frog you meet. I hope none of the frogs are grilled. Flint! The Sunshine Forest, which is to the west of, of Crossroad and past the prayer sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy! <laughs> Sorry, that sounded so explanationally like... They did now. But... I mean, it was an explanation. Mr. Flint! If you lose your way, be sure to check signs, posts, and message boards. I'm telling you this out of kindness of my heart. Just so you know. Thank you. Thal... Thal... Tasmil Village. West, Sunshine Forest. North, Sunset Cemetery. And to the east, there is nothing. So we need to go that way. The dashing is a little bit confused, but whatever. What the actual... We actually hear him ring the bell. But what the actual... Hey, ladder. Um, yeah. Hey, ladder. Can you see the fire from there? Hey, I said... I see this is a non-talkative as ever. Okay, well, whatever. There's a little chickadee. What is that? Print got a nut. Cool. Can I talk to the bird? Chirp, chirp. Spare advice. For this little bit, I'm going to use the game lingo rather than comparisons. You can bring up the menu by pressing start. Starting from the left, the menu selections are goods, equip, status and sleep. At present, you can use the control pad to select one of those four. By choosing a menu option and pressing the A button, you can find out all sorts of things you might want to know. Lastly, about the rightmost sleep menu option. If you choose the sleep option and press the A button, you can pause the game. The batteries won't drain very much while the game is in sleep mode, so don't worry. When you want to start the game again, just press select and the LR button all at the same time. Well, what do you think? Shall I explain that again for you? No, thank you. Chirp chirp. A spare fluent in game lingo is pretty raro. Won't you say? I mean, 
rare. Well, this time I'll be sparrow-like for sure. And chip, 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 chip. Okay. Hey there, lady. Even if I did go on ahead, I just know I'd be no help at all. What should I do? Don't know, but I'm gonna dash forwards, talking to each and every single one that we find. Come on. The flames started coming our way, so ran here with all our might. But old Lida and little fuel are still stuck in the forest. Hello. What are you doing? Quit pushing that. Quit it. Seriously, stop. Keep pushing that and I'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? See you did it again. If you keep pushing this up, I'm gonna... Just so you know, if something ha bad happens to me, it's all because you keep pressing that stupid thing. Has he made the button? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some explanation on what they are doing, but they really play it like it's the button that is causing that. Which is true to some extent. Hi there. May the forest and the people and the animals and all I and I all have happiness. Oh, Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. Oh, thank you. Those are dragons! Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. Oh, it's me time again. Well, since this is recording, the name I shall be known as is Aaron. Let's go. Understood. Aaron. Your name is Aaron, correct? Yes. Okay then, please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you were ever asked this question. Three, two, one. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? I don't know what you mean. I think so. Good. Hmm. Well, now I'm curious. What should I have forgotten? Here's some greater mystery effort. Ha! Huh. Save fair game? Yes, sure. Let's save that yet again, because we're gonna save a whole bunch of times. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I will do so, Frogger. So let's talk to everyone who is here. This is a big emergency, so I came to help out, but Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know? I'm not just some annoying onlooker. Where's the fire? Is the fire on? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big giant forest of fire. You're, you're an annoying one. Flint, thank heavens you're here. I think Light and Fuel are still stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubberneckers. Just, you just hurry and find them. We'll do so, we'll do so, rubberneckers. That's an interesting word. Never heard that before. Hey, what do you have to say? Chirp, chirp. Spare advice, got a minute? If you're ever out of strength or find yourself poisoned, a dip into a hot spring is the best for all, for what ails you. But it's important that you stay in the water for a while for it to be effective. And actually there's a nice hot spring right inside the sunshine forest too. And now to end this with a sparrow like chirp chirp. Okay, good to know. Well, let's dash around and can I get through here now? Yep, yeah, you let me through. Perfect! Well, let's see what we can do. Ooh, I take it those are uh, smoke clouds and not clouds clouds. <laughs> oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. This smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So, you can have this cookie instead. That is slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie beef of use. Please let it be of use. Flint got a nut cookie. Thank you. Now we have a nut and a nut cookie. Good to know, we have nuts. <clears throat> Bats. Wow. Mr. Betty blocked the way. Wait, what do I have? Bats? Uh, bash, goods, brute force, guard, and run. What is brute force? 
Swing, Power Smash, Strengthen Up, Toughen Up. Oh, is that like... My abilities? Let's go with Power Smash. Mr. Belly attacks. Flynn put all of his strength behind this attack. And we miss. Tubbers is running around restlessly. I take it that the brute force attacks are less likely to hit, so let's just go with normal bash. Mr. Baker become friendly, Flint dodged, okay, running around restlessly, nobody cares about that, you attack me, 10 damage, Flint attacks back, Thomas is around restlessly, you sure are not doing anything good for us, whoa, Mr. Baker became tame, and we won, 20 XP, nice to have them, let's see what else is around here, except for my pets, seriously, I dislike you Mr. Paddy, they actually deal what? Some damage. Sweeps from the forehead. Let's go with Power Smash again. I wanna see how they friendly and affectionated. I dodge quickly and boom! There we go. That was a nice smash. So okay, I take it again. They are stronger. Deal a lot of damage. There was also a smash. I don't know if it's still the critical hits or not. But deal a lot more damage. But now poisonous snakes. There should be antidote somewhere around here. Ooh, wow. Hey there! Where could Isaac be? There is something... It's, sorry. Flint open the present. Aries bracelet. Okay, I take it that's something to equip for me, for my buddy. Others, Aries bracelet. More defense. Yes, please. And there's hot springs. Can the hot springs actually heal me completely? Let's check that out. Because they said some status ailments, but can they also heal me when I'm damaged? I still love that effect. Rexing the hot springs made everyone in Flint's party feel alive again. Okay. Does that mean I'm back at full health? Sure am. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to you, you just give me advice and... I take it you give me some advice about the hot springs. So little frog, I... Don't wanna save just now. Nothing with that, I take it. No. Um, can I maybe dash into that? No. And you're in my way. Okay, so I can't do anything here. There's another bat. Fight you. So, again, I'm gonna go ahead after a few times and skip through the fights with enemies that we've seen already. Oh, Flint! <coughs> uh, I've breathed in too much smoke! Light and his son fuel stir aren't back yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Go help them. I will. Trust me. Oh, there's things lighting up there. Ooh, okay. Things are really on fire here. I take it I don't have to worry about poisonous snakes because everything's burning at the moment. So, can I do anything with the fire? I can walk into it. Hmm. How old? What is that? A metal box like object is lying here. Okay, but they showed me one thing, and that is that I can dash through certain things, it looks like. What is... what? What is you? Yeah, monster. Okay... Thomas is whipping the sweat from his forehead. Good job! Okay, you're not too strong. Oh yeah, there was something with the rhythm of the music! Okay... I completely forget that. Okay, I couldn't try it out this time, but there was something... When you bash, you can tap in the rhythm of the game, of the music that's playing in the background and deal multiple hits. That is something that we can do here. Some nut bread. I actually should eat something, I think. So, good. And 5 HP, 15, 30. Let's go with the cookie at the moment. And actually use the nut as well, because that doesn't do me any good. I think we can probably cook as well. But interesting. So let's fight against you and let's try that out yet again. Ooh, we have advantage. Let's see that. Okay, that didn't work. 
I really need to figure out how that works. But there's a way. Didn't get to try it again. But there's a way that you you have to press in the rhythm of the music and then you can basically chain attack it is. And as long as you can keep the rhythm, as uh, that is as long as you can attack. We actually got a level up for that also. So I'm not bad, that's good to have, because the nutbread heals quite a bit. But I don't know when to start pressing the button and how things work, so... And still not. Let's try it again. Let's, let's focus. There we go, I did it. Two hits. I, I need to focus on that at the beginning of the fight here. At the beginning of the chain. I think once I have the rhythm and everything down and no one to press it, I can do that. Let's, let's try it once again from the very get-go. So, let's attack you. Nope. Didn't get it. Okay, I really need to look how that works. Nope, I, I seriously don't get how that works. Well, if I attack you now, you're done anyway. Once I figure out how that works, we will get some big combos going up there, because I love rhythm games and that shouldn't be too difficult then for me. If I know how that works, because at the moment I have no clue how that works. Hey there! Lighter! Hey! Lighter! You're right! Flint! Uh, and Thomas. Damn it. <coughs> I tried to beat these things up, but more just kept coming. Can't get past them. <coughs> what is that thing? A bug? <coughs> I don't know. You're going around the phones lighting fires, but never mind that. Feels, feel still at home. What? Feel still in your shack? Flint, you go help Fuel and look after Lighter. I will do so. You've never seen the bug like this before. Okay. Oh god. There's lots of them. That's probably not good. Okay. A firefly that's caught suddenly attacked. Okay. Not good to know. Let's try it again. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Didn't have the rhythm down. Okay. They attack me. Don't like it. At least they don't deal too much damage there. Ouch. I really would love to know how that works. Maybe I have to press another button for that? I, I take it it's not the B button that I have to press here. No, it's not. Okay. That, that did even less than the A button. Because I did it with the A button at least twice, so... But let's see. Come on. I really would love to see how that works. I need to heal after that. I have no I have no clue how that works. 51 experience and the present. There was some nut bread in there. Okay, we got some nut bread. Okay. Um I take it that I can't go past here. That's just a dead end. So let's go ahead and use some nut bread on Flint. Two should be more than enough. And I take it the place I need to go is back there. Ouch. I take just a little bit of damage when I run through the fire, but I take it that's better than anything. Is that down there his house? I don't know. I'm just gonna run around and try out different things here. Okay, no, that's not it. But let's run really quickly into the hot springs and regenerate some health. Well, everything's burning around me. Let's go into the hot springs and regenerate some health and then go back up there and try to get those the things going. So. See you guys up there. So I'm back up here. Maybe now I can... Yes, I can go through it. Okay. What a barrel. Hop up. I really recommend you save now. Will you? I sure will, because everything's on 
fire, and I probably is better if I do that. And please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Yes, I will do so. Um, but I think we're gonna deal with the rest of the forest fire in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very, actually, first real start of the episodes of Mother Three. And hope you look forward to how everything else will go. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, how about leaving comments down below? I really would appreciate that. I hope to see all of you to the next part of Mother Three. So bye.